my name is Solomon Kano. Uh, if you are uh, watching this video, it's because uh, you have indicated interest for us to help you with asylum. And so most times when I meet with somebody, uh, the first question is to find out when you came to United States, uh, how did you enter United States? Uh, what was the reason that you came to United States? Uh, did you come in with a visa? Uh, did you talk to the people at the consulate that you were afraid? Does anybody else know that you are afraid to come to the United States? And by the time we establish that you probably came with a visa, never mentioned that you were afraid, and now you're here and you're afraid, then we analyze why you're afraid. And um, even if you enter the United States without a visa, fraudulently, whichever way, for asylum is permitted because we see you as someone running away and whatever it will take for you to get to this country, we're not worried about that. And then we go into finding out why are you afraid? It is not every fear that will give you asylum. Uh, you have to have fear or you would have been persecuted on account of your race, religion, nationality, uh, membership in a particular social group, your political opinion, or torture. So if you've been tortured already in your country, there's a likelihood that if you were to go back, you'd be tortured again. So after analyzing all this and come to the conclusion that you have a well-founded fear, uh, then you will need an affidavit or a declaration as to what happened. You can fill out the forms. Matter of fact, it's called I-589. You can fill this out yourself. You have to answer the questions of what happened, who did it, when, and why. Now, if you elect to use uh, a lawyer like me, or the law firm that I represent, we can help you with writing your affidavit. We can help you with editing some of what you've written, make sure that everything is good. Because asylum is free when you file, you can do all this without paying any lawyer. But if you come to us, uh, the benefit will be because we know the road well. And I'll guide you and file the application for you. Here are the benefits of filing for applica uh, asylum application. One is that the fear of being removed or deported or harassed stops that day. The moment USCIS receives your application, nobody can um, bother you anymore or deport you, no matter what happens. Down the road, after about six months, you can apply for work authorization. When you get work authorization, even that first one is free. Then you can get driver license, you can get social security number, now you can work, you can drive, you could travel within the United States. When your turn for the uh, interview comes, uh, I most times will go with my clients. And when I go with you, I would have prepared you as to what the possible questions will be. When you pass, and you're granted asylum, that's huge. After one year, you can apply for permanent residency, you can include your wife, your children, and after about five years, you can apply for U.S. citizenship, become a U.S. citizen. Basically, you've gone from little to extra large. So that is what happens with asylum. Uh, if you want us to help you, that's what we do here. We'll be able to help you, at least give you a shot to where you want to be. And I invite anyone that needs help, please click on the button below and it will take you to the next step. You can also call the phone number that you see on the screen and that will get you into the system and it will take it off from there.